Hi everyone and welcome to today's advanced webinar. Uh, today we will have a look a bit in new CAD tools uh, which are available in 2.9.0 version and uh, let's get right into it. Before we start my name is Marco and yes as already told I will, I will present you the today CAD functions so you can see already here on the right tab main functions from uh, cat tap here is a nice example from construction side uh, they did a really great excavation already and yes maybe let's just just start right into it so uh, first of all here is select tool here we have a multiple selector and here we have a measurement tool then there are some additional tools we will have a look a bit later uh, before we continue, if we go a bit down here on the right side, here is a list of layers. What I will do now, I will first just create a new layer, let's say measurements. I will make this layer active. I can go to change another colors, but yes, let's leave it as a default. The default color is actually when you're drawing, it's white. When you print out or export as a PDF, it's actually black. Then you can set the thickness of lines and so on. I will go to three. And first I would like to show you basic measuring tools. Uh, when you click this tool, uh, here are additional options available. So point snapping, it means we are snapping to direct point of the point cloud. Uh, interpolate snapper means we are actually calculating new points and averaging the height which are in the center of a blue circle. And if we go a bit more down, here we can see tool settings. So we have display options. We can display 2D distance. We can display 3D distance, slope and delta height. Right now I'm interested in delta height. So actually how deep this construction site is. Uh, of course, you can set also the text size, 10 is by default, and this is already okay. For now, I will use my point snapper tool, and let's have a look. So I will just click one point here, on one point here, on a point cloud, and then select down another one. And as you can see, really quickly, we can measure it. The deepness here is 9.49 meter. So let's go to the center of the construction site. We see here is even deeper. What we can do, we can snap to existing point. And let's select here on the lowest point actually. So let's try it here. So here we already have 13.25 meter. In between, when I'm doing the cat, I can also switch between uh, tabs here so if I go to point cloud I can change my view options and for now I will use my height map that I can see okay here is probably even deeper place so what I'm going to do I can move back to cat I can select my measurement sorry no I move it to my if I click escape I actually go automatically to select option and now I will select my measurement and just correct the position of measurements okay so you can do all the manipulation and then immediately you can see so here is a 14.21 23 let's say this is my deepest point let's go back to point cloud turn off the height map back to cat and yes as you can see the deepness of this construction site currently is 14.22 meters Okay, then here we have a nice slope. Let's check it out. Also another measurement. So what you could do, you could do a digital layer if you like, measurement 
two or something like that. Let's change those measurements to orange color, thickness different. And once again, now I would like to measure slope and 3D distance actually. And once again, we can snap on it and we get the estimated value. Okay, so in this case, we, in this case, we have a slope of 37.5 meters. So the same way you can measure almost any detail uh, in cat tap. You can do the measurement based on point cloud points. Uh, you can also, if you have a DSM, you can snap on vertex point. So anything like that. If you don't want to see measurements anymore, just unselect them here or select and delete them. Okay. Cool, let's turn them off for now and let's go to our second very interesting tool. So here we can see uh, a lot of roads, a lot of manholes. Uh, we can see road signs and everything like that. Uh, we can easily vectorize all those points and let's try to do it with one small example. So now I will first go and create a new layer. Let's say road. I will select this one. Let's put the road to the light blue one. Thickness is okay. And road I will going to draw with my draw line tool. So when I click on a draw line tool, once again, different snapper options. I will stay with point snapper. Uh, then I can select on what I'm going to snap. So this is point snapping on point cloud point. This is end point. This is midpoint, nearest and circle. So all the standard snappers are available. Once again, display options, why to use them. You can somehow help you when you when you are let's say drawing road that you are not connecting lines every 20 centimeters or something like that so usually when you're outside you're measuring uh, this uh, measuring vertex vertexes or point of interest every five every 10 meters actually and let's show it how it goes so i'm just drawing based on my point cloud where I would like to go and immediately I'm creating a 3D line let's make a thickness a bit uh, to 3 so you can see it a bit better so this is it maybe even better option for drawing objects like this is first to go to DSM click on drape orthophoto so that we stick actually orthophoto to our uh, digital surface model to get a better presentation from whole model this usually takes a couple of seconds because of the graphic card and now you can even more detailly see actually how the definition line should go and then you can go back to cat and turn on point cloud and dsm okay now we have textured DSM with point clouds behind and in this way I can continue drawing. If I would like to continue, what I need to turn on is also my end point snapper. Now I can snap to my end line and now I can really, really detail a 3D vectorize road from my model. Okay, this is my accurate 3D line. Now one Think in addition, what can you do in addition is that you're creating 3D points on vertex points actually. So I will just put it here name and height. Currently I don't need code. Let's do it first without it. And I will start, start continuing once again. Now, as you can see, every time when I click, I actually create also 3D vertex point. And this point has written height on it. If I go here and select also code, let's say road, I will see also my code of the specific point. Okay. So really nicely designed. As you can see, you have any options here. 
even later. So now I'm going to click escape. I go to the main select part. Even later, you can change. If you have too much points here, you can decide if you would like to display them or no. Okay, so just go here and set to no. And no, you don't have any heights anymore. Okay. So in this way, you can solve all possible scenarios actually uh, and really, really effectively and quickly draw your survey map out of photogrammetry data. Okay, let's continue with another part. I would just like to show you one additional trick. So if you click something, I don't know, unexpectedly like so, and you would like to go one step back, just click on backspace on keyboard. And every time you click, you actually delete the last point. If you click on escape, you will lose the whole line. Actually, you will finish the line with the last confirmed points. Okay. So points are, points are still there because we use them for, uh, for additional drawing. What you can do really quickly go to multiple selection tool select those points you would like to delete and click on uh, delete button on your keyboard okay uh, great so this is this was a basic uh, draw line tool uh, then in this case you can go and vectorize the lower boundary of the construction site the upper boundary of the construction site maybe let's just quickly do it uh, because here is a big displacement in height the dsm model is maybe not the perfect one that's why i will go and turn off point cloud and dsm view and let's make additional layer sorry so uh construct construction low let's take it like that let's make it a red one and once again draw line okay 2d is cool i don't need currently vertex point and i will just start to vectorize it so you can do the rotation you can pan in between even what you can do go to point cloud tab increase point render size this point cloud was calculated i think on low or medium level so it's not so detailed but good enough for standard uh, construction so standard surveying work and right now i'm connecting the lower boundary of this construction site okay let's continue here so as you can see now i'm doing a big movements for 30 33 meters actually 34 meters but this is actually everything it's pretty straight here that's why i can do it in a, this way and now if i would like to have additional point here without code i can just select it here and immediately i have let's have two of them turn them off continue without height okay here is another change so right now i would like to have in addition another one okay here not so you can see nothing is hidden it's just one click away when you get a bit of praxis everything's go pretty pretty smoothly okay few more few more points let's turn them off now so in case you would do this with traditional technology you know you couldn't done this probably with the gps because of low signal we are pretty near the walls and this is more than 15 meters height so definitely there will be some uh, problematic parts to measure it with uh, gps if you will stand here with the total station you would you wouldn't probably see the other part so 
it's actually a pretty effective way to measuring uh, distances to creating 3d lines anything like that uh, in an office in a nice environment so we just do the data acquisition it took us 50 minutes for for this construction site then we measured additional ground control points additional let's say 20 minutes or something like that and everything else you can do that easily in an office okay so this was the draw line tool everything what you actually draw here it's also visible on the orthophoto okay so as you can see it here our boundary and of course our road also let's go back to cat tap and then i would like to show you one additional function here so we have a lot of manholes here let's just small the point render size this will be better visible and turn back now point cloud and dsm so as you can see here is a lot of details okay so here is one electric one uh, from phone manhole or something like that so a lot of different uh, types what you can do you can create 3d points with our point drawing point tool so now we'll go to this one i'll create a new layer let's say 3d point make the layer active select one of the color let's go to yellow one it's nicely visible and here you could decide let's say for point code electric should be my first one because i was on the field i know those two are actually uh, manholes for electricity uh, right now i cannot find the best match for the center you see because i'm snapping directly to uh, point cloud points in this case i think the better option is to use interpolate snapper set the uh, diameter diameter of blue circle logical and now you can create 3d point anywhere on uh, on the terrain and we are just averaging the height you can also see uh written height immediately so in this case it's 30701 and this is my center and like so i just create a point name 22 with height and written text on it here is another one okay and here is another one okay immediately i create three of them uh okay additional option when you are in select tool you can use double mouse click to focus on your area of interest and then pretty precisely zoom in check out how it goes okay then let's go to another one so new points no i will use without code i will just leave it like so and click all those points here so it's the same way as you would be on a field measuring almost in a real time okay even if there are some things in the let's say in the middle of road or something like that so as you can know as you know it's pretty dangerous to running up and down on the street so with this approach you can create really quickly all 3d points the same way you would measuring on a field and uh, much much safer than if you would measuring in a real environment actually okay cool so those were 3d points uh, then we have some circles it's a basic circle tool actually nothing special what i would like to show you in addition are then uh, also manipulation tools with points so if you need to change anything like that you can select them anytime and move them to another position okay so like so okay i didn't do my selection pretty well so i will just correct it like so then even if you like to change color 
you can do it here in a element properties type like so uh, for specific points it's not a special if i select it once again you can move this one to different layer let's move this to let's say measurement okay now i click on escape and i lose my point actually uh, okay let's move this one in addition to measurements and now actually is change is change layers okay then uh, another one so this was uh, point creating tools then uh, if you like to change some coordinates or anything like that you just need to click on the point you see the 3d coordinate and then actually when you set here the new value let's say let's move this one point to 310 we change actually the parameters of the point and as you can see it uh, this is a new height of this point actually okay then uh, let's have a look about the export option of points and lines so when you go to data and you select save KRS, you can define in which file format you would like to save this point all those file formats are available probably the most standard one is definitely the dxf file format so i will just change change name point points and lines and save them in my folder let's go and have a quick view how it looks like okay double mouse click couple of seconds right now i'm importing those points and lines in my tree views true view so it's a uh, autodesk viewer couple of more seconds and yes here we have them okay so this is my construction site boundary this is a part of the road uh, and my 3d points some are with code the others are without so everything it's nicely exported also with codes if i turn off the heights you can see no more heights here let's turn them back and this is it so if i do the 3d rotation you can see it's exported in 3d so uh, you can continue connecting you can end your topographic science or anything like that uh, based on results you exported from 3d survey cat tap uh, then in addition if you would like to export uh, or import to autocad or similar cat softwares those points as a block uh, we advise you to export those points as a text takes the file so let's go to data save cat s and select here the xf file format now we'll have just 3d points 3d points and here you can define the separator so let's leave it space here uh, the decimal space point colors point code uh, let's leave it as a default and let's have a quick view what is the result so all points which are created here are listed here i didn't select the point cloud in addition point code in addition let's do once again so data save cat as i will just override this one with a text file format yes and now i will add point color in a point code in addition let's have a view yes and here it is so points which don't have code are displayed without code where we create a code in addition we have road electric anything like that so then if you have a system that auto automatically recognize coin, uh, codes it can automatically actually connect the lines based on these points later on
OK. Cool. So this was the 3D point. Uh, as you can see, those points are designed in surveying mentality. So you immediately see where you're connecting. When is this uh, really, really interesting? Uh, usually when you try to connect uh, the curves or something like that, where this, is, where this needs to be really precise, then it's nice to know uh, on which you are actually, on which height you are actually snapping. Okay, so let's say no, I would just like to have a, a point on it with height. So now I can really see if I'm on the lower part of the curb or I move to the upper one. So we see on the lower we have 306.75, on the upper one we have 306.87. So this is like 12 centimeters because this is not extremely dense point cloud, it's, uh, it's even uh, harder. So in this case, would be better to calculate it, uh, the point load on extreme level, and then it will be easier to decide which point is on the lower part of the curve and which one is on the upper one. But yes, even here, you can do, we can do this pretty, pretty nicely. Okay, let's open another project in addition where we have a one hose. Okay, couple more seconds because it's a bit bigger object. Okay, here I also calculate, uh, here I also do the comparison with the point cloud quality of the 2.83 algorithm and 2.90 algorithm. So as we can see, same images, same uh, camera positions, but the results with a 2.90, which is much, much, much nicer. And because yes, today we are looking, what can you do with a cat tap? Uh, I would like to show you maybe the easiest way how to draw out the boundary of, of a house if you don't need the position of a points uh, on the zero level, so on the terrain level. In this case, I would advise you to use our bounding box. So let's do it like so, that you can just focus on your area of interest. I'm using right mouse click to turn the, to move the planes. Then if I go on the corner, I can also rotate the bounding box. Now it fits perfectly. Let's go a bit near. Also here. Okay, I'm losing the roof, but I don't need it right now. And then move the planes also from upper and lower position. And now if I turn it off, I can also, I can almost perfectly see my uh, boundary of a house. And let's go now to cat tap, create a new layer, hose, make the layer active. I will take the red color and now I'm going to draw it. I will use in this case interpolate snapper because it's easier and let's just start drawing. So here is my first corner. The hose is pretty simple, so actually just a simple square. Okay, I connect this first line. Here is my second one. Let's move it to third one. Okay, here we have some rock details. That's why it's going a bit differently. And now I just need to snap to my endpoint. In this case, I need to go to the point snapper and I have already endpoint snapper on. So, sorry, let me just delete the other ones. It's the safest way. And now I finish actually with my one host uh, example, how to connect it. Let's 
click on reset view and inspect how I actually connect these lines. Okay, looks all good to me. So as you can see, we were pretty high. And now if I need to have uh, just few points from the hide, I can use point uh, draw point tool and just click my elevation point. Like, okay, I need a single point here for my height estimation. I need another one here. Okay, let's go to the other side. And one more here. Okay, and then actually when we look this in a top-down view, or the mode, everything should pass really nicely together because the walls are vertical. In this case, I really quickly cre create actually a boundary of a house and few additional points. Okay, I turn the house upside down. Then in addition, if you need any other 3D points, feel free to select uh, any one of them. Okay. Let's try to connect also roof here really quickly. Let's see how it goes. So roof, new layer. Let's take, I'll take just a green color. I will snap on my point cloud points. Okay, set the thickness. What I, what I advise you here when you snap on it? Okay, no, I mean a, a drawing point tool. So I need to go to my uh, draw line tool and let's try to connect. So as you can see, my first point go actually through the roof. This is why I'd like to show you the most effective way. Now I, cor uh, I click on the correct one. Uh, sorry. I zoom too much. So this is my second point. Every time when you click, make a small rotation that you will just see if you are on the right position. Okay. Zoom in a bit. Okay, here is my third point. Yes, it's nicely done. Do we need here a point in, in addition? Yes, we can have it one. So my fourth one, I'm just doing the rotation a bit. I would like to make the point render size a bit bigger, like so also. Here is my fourth one. Okay, I actually, ah, sorry, I need to go to CAD line, sorry to CAD tap, and then, no, I need to start from my endpoint and continue drawing. In this case, I think we have a 50 million of points, that, that's why the model is also pretty, pretty accurate. Uh, so it's really easy to connect it. It's all good. Okay. A few more points. Okay, uh, connected correctly. And my end point in addition. So we need to wait for the red square. Here it is and we clear we finish the connection okay so the roof is done then uh, let's go and connect also the middle parts of the roof like so here and finish it on end point Right mouse click to finish the line. Once again, drawing on endpoint. We have here also endpoint. Here is another, like so. Did 
to the endpoint. Okay, and of course, also this part. Okay, so I think we connected the roof perfectly. Uh, once again, don't forget, let me try to do a small mistake just to show you more realistic. So usually what happens really, really quickly, if we have also points on the back. Uh, okay, I did it perfectly here. Let's go maybe like so. Okay, I'm doing great snapping. But what I was trying to show you, if you don't connect it like so, it's great to rotate the model always. Then you immediately see, okay, I did a mistake. Just click on backspace, correct the position of it, and correct it. When you, you would like to finish, right mouse click, and that's it. Okay, uh, cool. So this was about the drawing. Then let's see those 3D lines without the point cloud. As you can see, it's here. Roof is really nicely described with these green lines. Then we have a red line for uh, corners of the objects and few 3D points. Okay, this four point number point was done by mistake. I could go and delete it. So just select it. What's here interesting. Oh, sorry. You need to be in a select tool. So I will select it like so. What's here interesting to be quicker. You don't need to go to the point. Even if you go over the text, the point, the correct point is selected and then just delete it. And that's it. And once again, to export it, data, save CAD S, select any of your preferable file format, and you are good to go, actually. Okay. Uh, then uh, quick tip, double mouse click, zoom into detail, and continue drawing. If you are in drawing line tool, sometimes this is tricky function, this double mouse click, but with a bit of praxis, everything works really nicely. Okay, so this was everything from today's webinar about CAT tools. Uh, feel free to set your question in your question box and I will try to answer them uh, via replying on your question via email or di directly in an easy webinar checkbox. Thank you for being with us and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thank you for listening.